Ituturo ko sa inyo ang sikreto ng paggawa ng perfect okoy. Let's turn it over. Yun. Depende po kung anong oras nyo panonoorin to at kung anong oras kayo magugutom. Siguraduhin nyo po na kayo ay may suka, na may bawang at saka may sili. Kayo po ba humihigop ng suka pag kumakain kayo ng lumpia at saka okoy? Ang hang na maasim. Mm. Isa pa! Huh. Naku po mahabagin! Okay, let's do our batter. 1 cup all-purpose flour. Harina. 1 fourth cup cornstarch. 1 tablespoon salt. 1 tablespoon ground pepper. 1 teaspoon sugar. Pampaalsa. 1 tablespoon baking powder. And for color, pampakulay, let's add anato or achuete powder. Let's whisk it and then slowly add our ice cold water. You can see meron pa pong ice cubes oh. And then slowly add into the dry ingredients until they are all combined and the solids are completely dissolved. You can see the batter is thick. Medyo malapot po ang ating batter. So I'm adding 1 fourth cup of water additional. Gusto nyo lagyan? Konting nor liquid seasoning? 1 tablespoon nor liquid seasoning. For flavor, I'm adding 5 cloves of garlic chopped. Let's start adding our vegetables starting with kamote, sweet potato. 250 grams sweet potato. 150 grams squash. Squash, kalabasa. Haluin po muna natin ito. Let's combine this first. Chinese celery. Wala po akong kinchay eh. 100 grams Chinese celery. I'm just using the other half of the kinchay or Chinese celery. Pamalit sa toge. Repolio. Green cabbage. 100 grams shredded green cabbage. This is 300 grams of silver fish. Dulong po ang tawag sa atin dito eh. I washed it already. And let's add it. Kinamay ko na po, hindi ko mahalo sa ilalim eh. Just make sure your hands are clean or you can use gloves if you want. See? Oh, di halong halo. Parang ang dami ito mga kaibigan. So I'm just gonna divide this into two and I will save the half for a later use. Baka dalin ko sa Bible study. You have to label. Kapag ka tinago nyo po sa freezer, hindi po pwede kasi hindi nyo alam kung ano yun. Okay ba? I'm just testing the oil if it's hot enough. Let's fry our okoy. Nakikita ko sa mga tindahan, nilalagay sa platito eh, oh. <laughs> Ginaya natin. Let's do the second one. And the third one. Palubayan nyo muna. Leave it alone. Allow the bottom to fry really well. Kasi makikita nyo, kapag kaluto na po yung ilalim, you can easily move it around. Paliguan nyo po ng mantika. Bait the top of your okoy with hot oil. Maluluto ko agad. It will cook easily and faster. Look at this. Ito po, nagagalaw ko na. After mga 2 minutes, itong isa, hindi pa. So, leave it alone. Depende po sa kapal ng pagluluto nyo ng okoy, how long it's gonna take you to cook. This one, took me 3 minutes before I turn it over. Okay, kita nyo? Ayan. And then let's cook the other side for maybe another 2 minutes. Depende rin kung gano'n nyo ka-crispy gusto. Gusto nyo po ba malutong ang okoy nyo o malambot-lambot? Kayo na po bahala. Total cooking time, 5 minutes. Let's transfer. Put your okoy in a colander so it will remove the excess oil. Look, meron pa pong mga excess oil eh. Mamantika. Nako mga igan, palagay ko eh. Mapapalabang kami ni Manang dito ng kainan eh. Magkakamay tapos nakataas pa yung paa habang <laughs> umunguya itong okoy. Iluluto ko pa yung kalahate kung kayo dadaan. Pasabi lang kayo. Bubuksan ko yung likodan ha. Dumaan kayo. Yung sampayan, yung buo kayo at baka magalit si Manang. Okay? Keep your comments coming. Binabasa ko po yan. At doon po ako kumukuha ng mga ideas kung ano lulutuin. Salamat po kung kayo po'y nasisiyahan at nag-i-enjoy at natatawa dun sa mga pasundot-sundot natin, pasuntok-suntok na sense of humor. 
Please let me know. Okay po ba? Ron Bilaro. Bye everybody. Asim yung suka. Asim. Bye. Ituturo ko sa inyo ang sikreto ng paggawa ng perfect okoy.